important news. No. Oh. The CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? Vir no, the virtuous mission. Oh, I'm having glitches happen. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into You see that? Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. No, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, also, do they call him Jack? He sounds like Snake. A certain Soviet scientist. That was Ryan's name. In the West through one of our moles. Mole. Well, His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Jack Stofers. He had a lot of names, I'll be honest. One of the Soviet's top secret weapon research. And he stuck with Ryden. And the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov, isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961. Oh my god. This is, well, I mean, I already knew this, but yeah, even in the briefing file that you can tell this is a prequel as hell. Also, Sokolov, is that, is he in one of the, uh, Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster. Is he in one of the Metal Gear games? After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov like the original two? the head of the newly established design bureau i can only assume this has got to be from before yeah that's quite a success story so why do you want to defect it seems he'd become afraid of his own creations that's reasonable afraid. yeah man a crisis of conscience and for that he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence not exactly one of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the Explosives West. are fucking scary. ...to get the family out first, and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the... Oh, okay, so we've already rescued Sokolov, so he is... Yeah, he is. He's totally in one of the other games. Then what? Crazy bastard. Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. No way, he got captured. More than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Oh, okay, so they just don't have info. That we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely before. We're in the process of deploying big prequel. ballistic missiles in Cuba. The president demanded Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. I mean, that's a good idea. The Soviets didn't back down. Instead, to be fair, I would be... Uh, it's hard to, like, trust someone who's, like, upset that they're not getting their missiles, you know what I mean? It's, like, one thing if it was, like, oh, like, food or something like that, but, like, it's just missiles, it's kind of like... You don't seem very good in this moment. I'm, I'm sure you know, but... Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles. You seem like you're so going a little crazy. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. What's an Jupiter IRBM? IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete. And we were going to get rid a of them. A Jupiter IRBM. What is that? strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So of what course. Do the really want? Sokolov. Everything's a lie. They wanted us to return Sokolov. And you said no, right? You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. That is insane. So you said no, right? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. Surely it's not another Metal Gear. Or if it is, it's gotta be really primitive. Oh my god, you had to give him back? That's fucking so scary. Imagine you escaped and then they're like, um... We gotta, we gotta send you back. For real. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question. Okay, so we can go get him. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. Alright. So what kind of it's either Sokolov or his work that everything is based off of. No, 
and Metal Gear. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting. Now, as far as I'm aware, I believe that this is the earliest game in the timeline. No, to my knowledge. To our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Nice Apparently, name for a virtuous mission. The, the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still <laughs> I'd be like, I can't see shit. The this screen, it's job. too fuzzy. Must have known that too when he contacted us. You're gonna tell me that you guys had all these missiles, but you can figure out how to make fucking TVs? After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. I was about to read that, and then Snake started reading it, and I felt a wave of relief wash over me because I, I can't match up to that. Is it the song? Do I get to hear it? No, we're not at the mission yet. Never mind. Oh, it's loud. I can't wait until I hear that music. Well, we've got a bit to go before we can have it. Yeah, no, whenever I read things about war, it just comes out sounding goofy. Whenever David Ader reads stuff about war, it sounds hard as fuck. 5.30 a.m. Early. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Why do we even wait this long? We should have just left at like 2 o'clock. In the a.m. Got in here real early. Who is this guy? That's not Campbell. Is it? What, is he just younger? Oh my god, is Campbell alive now? Holy shit, holy shit. I forgot that that would even be a thing. I wonder if he's here. Oh, at least we don't have to fucking worry about Ocelot, huh? They're being very... forward. Well, it's not, it looks like Snake, but it's not Snake. He doesn't have the headband. Does this panty waist know what he's doing? Point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. No, I just don't give a fuck. I'm probably gonna die. And Snake didn't smoke cigars, he smoked straight up cigarettes. Depressurization complete. Maybe he would have smoked a cigar, I don't know. But he always just had a box. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Cigarettes. Sayonara, losers. Sunrise. I told you we should have gone earlier. Oh my god, why did it get it got so it got turned up so high on the fucking thing somehow. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I like clicked really far over for the volume for the. <laughs> You'll be at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get from the yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No, yeah, I'll take, I'll take note of all that for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll remember that. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's in the dome. Oh my God, he said Halo. This is on the PlayStation. You can't say that word. No, I'm just kidding. What is Halo? Wait, he's the first to jump like this? Well, you know, if I'm using my brain correctly, all I'm saying... Is, I'm not Snake, and we all know... What Snake was now. This has got to be him, yeah? This has got to be the big boss.
No, there's a mark of quality. No way. I already watched this. has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. Damn it. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. <laughs> right. I was gonna say, fuck that. I don't wanna watch that one. I'm skipping it. I'm putting that one in the first. Uh. So it tries to play you the mission briefing right there. It feels out of place. No offense, Mr. Kojima. I love you and all. I don't like it like that. I would much rather just put the briefing beforehand. It's a little ugly, but you do get the option to watch it beforehand. So I'm gonna fucking take it. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna skip it there. Even he, he was like, maybe someone would like to watch it before they go into it. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate oh, fuck. Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the west. Oh, yeah. Sounds cool, man. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. I got it! This fucking wind flying past him. There was more strings in there than I've ever seen in my life. The recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. 20 minutes to pump a balloon? The gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Man, so wait. Combat proof. They were able to get a mic inside of it. it. The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two Why is he asking so many questions? Cannons, as well as two 40 millimeter machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. He's like, all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a I'll be real. I just don't have shit else to do while I'm zooming through here. But so I'm just making small talk. Long. You'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Lovely. Fried toad's my favorite. Is that a real thing? Well, I guess frog legs. Those do exist, yeah. This is whenever I find out frog legs are fake and have never been real. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh man. That's my bag. Oh, this is unlucky. Ooh. Man. You ever feel like, uh. You know, like you shouldn't jump out of helicopters. Cause I got that feeling right now after I saw that happen. He kept the big box on his chest, but not his fanny pack. Oh, never mind. I guess he doesn't need that anymore. He kept all this shit on that he did not need somehow, but the one thing that he would have carried with him, it took him forever. I mean, it, it took him. It took that explicitly away from him. Oh, wow. He's just Snake. I guess we're not Big Boss, we're just Snake. But this has to be Big Boss in the future, right? Like I said, I mean, they're clones. So they clone this guy, unless Big Boss is another clone of this guy, which I mean is possible, I don't know. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to Naked Snake now on. You're not to mention your real name. For sure. His real name is Jack, by the way. What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. I'm glad to hear that. I, don't know if I, I am Snake Eater. Be careful, you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Major who? Let's see. I'll be I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. 
Who is this? this be a Have I ever met this guy? You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. 55. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back oh, well, he said he'll tell me later, so maybe there is another person. You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. <laughs> yeah, by the way, I lost that shit. It's gone. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. Do you know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. Good luck. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action Oh my god, they're teaching us how to climb trees, guys. I'm monitoring your progress over the radio. This is going to be useful. Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. 1.140.85. Uh, if you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. I'm trying, man. Oh my god, and now it's the, the camouflage thing. So I just want to see how it looks. That is a long transition in and out. Which way is, uh, also whenever it asked me, I started the game and it asked you what game you like. I chose that I was playing Metal Gear for the first time. Because, um, I don't know, that was just the first option that it was on. Uh, and I was like, do you like Metal Gear 1? Do you like Metal Gear, or I like Metal Gear 1? Or Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, or Metal Gear Solid 3? And I was like, uh, oh, no. I was like, I'll just do first time playing. So that way it'll take mercy on me or something. Oh my goodness. This shit's gonna break for sure. Gotcha. Easy peasy. One bag in tow. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To I did. It's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other will do. items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Yep, that's right. Survival okay. is fundamental to this mission. Jesus. I don't like this guy's voice as much as Campbell. If your stamina gets too low, he sounds like a teacher. I don't want a teacher. I want someone yelling at me. And your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina. Who says I'm going to get wounded? To recover lost stamina, you That was a assumption you made, sir. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Nice. If your ability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? I think it's so called being covert up. I told you. Operating procedure. you can't covert any actions. Of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. I'll be like a snake. Never been here. Too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international... Uh, yeah. I thought you should have told me that before I kept crashing through all these trees and leaving my parachute around and stuff. Stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Oh, sweet. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? 
I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. Oh my god. The guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. At least I won't have to suffer in the jungle. Prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival. You don't. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? You That's don't at all. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. Oh my god. I'll keep it in mind. You said How come so the other snake right? didn't get right. a sweet I guess that means death pill? Count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well. Oh, another person. Who is this one going to be? I'm excited. She... Come on, let me hear. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Paramedic. paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? It's Jack. Name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. Okay, well, maybe I don't know his name either then. What's your name? Jane Doe. 28. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is one four. Over in Boston, Mash Ma Massachusetts. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency. I can tell you this shit. I'm gonna save immediately, so I don't have to listen to you talk to me anymore, man. Let's me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. Oh, I fucked. You know what? I brought this on myself because I was like, "Oh, it's the first time. I've never played a, I've never played a Metal Gear game before." Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first. The boss. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission. She? Advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were... Uh, I, guess, I guess this is a different boss. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Oh my god. Boss. That's right. It's Codename the boss. Age unknown. Nationality USA. Everything else is unknown. Oh my god. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. Oh my god. Just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Wh what is she doing here, man? What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. This is bizarre. You didn't need me anymore. There's already like but there were still so inner turmoil, but I was not <laughs> no, <laughs> present for I whatever happened between them. You needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. What is the rest? Make sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are so like what? Two she was like the coin. They're the same thing. I His fitness you trainer? Think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers... Oh, she calls him Jack, so I mean... Doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you think... A sin? And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Ooh, she's giving me a whole way? spiel. It had nothing Is that do. why you abandoned me? I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier This is all coming off really It's not his place to question. I don't know, I'm upset because it's like If this really wasn't the first time born fighter. But you're not quite a soldier. Playing a Metal Gear game, I'd be kind of upset. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? It's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. 
Only the mission. You follow the orders. I think anyone who tries to kill me might be an enemy man. Let me straight up. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, when did the conscious start bothering me? What the hell? With a gun. There's a saying in the Orient loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic, being ridiculous. Yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. <laughs> I follow the president. All right. The All right. The top brass won't be there for I die. I, I, I defend the president with my life. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. You're looking at a future marine. The times. People's values change over time. And so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. I mean, she's not wrong. As long as we have the enemy of to the end, tomorrow, maybe no the friend of today. Even in those we love. And that's Ooh. the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Fuck off, Snake. Snake. Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. Why is that? That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. What? A group of heroes uh -oh. brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary that's hero the, backing you up, you'll be that's fine. That's the explanation. That's right, Snake. Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Oh, my God. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. This, survival is, this is the jungle, you're right. Those secret I've never... techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. Oh, close, close quarter combat, combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets huh. the last few years. Close quarters combat, combat, huh? Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. You're in the... You're not even here? You're in the Arctic Ocean in a submarine? Your mission is to retrieve... I thought you said she was backing me up. What an Dr. asshole. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory. He lied. To the north oh. Of current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Doesn't look very abandoned to me. This is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. All right, this might be actually be useful for me for once because I can never seem to get things like sneaking up on people correct. Damn, his eyes are crazy. Commencing virtuous mission now. Commencing virtuous. Mm, my hands are wet. Like I said, I'm definitely saving immediately. Saving the game, Snake. Yes, absolutely. I don't. Want, I don't want to listen to that ever again. I wonder if she has any kind words to, you know, leave me with, or if she's just going to be like, have fun. It's been four years since I've played. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? I have. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. Mm -mm. It's just make-believe. Lame. That's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a Oh movie. my god. Report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. 
Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. Okay. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version too. It was awful, I, I bet. Seen the original Japanese one, if you ever yeah, I agree. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Oh my god. That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America too. Oh my god. 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. <laughs> god damn it, Kojima. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not she sounds like Rosemary. Then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always I'd... good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. I don't know her name. No kidding. She just goes by paramedic. Oh no. Distraction. That's the spirit snake. Have a little fun. She's still no mailing, I can tell you that much though. Thank <laughs> you. 